Till now, you have understood the coordination is the synchronization of effort and it is the essence of management. Now, we will study the characteristics of coordination. The first characteristic is coordination integrates the group efforts. To integrate means to complete. The process of coordination is marked to combine and to complete the group activity of different people in the organization. The second characteristic is coordination ensures unity of action. The process of coordination is required to unite the actions of different departments in the organization so that it is fruitful. The third feature is coordination is a continuous process. Coordination is required to do all the five functions of management like planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. These functions are continuous in nature, so coordination is also a continuous process. For example, AC and coolers are sold more during the summer season, but the manufacturing process starts much before summer. They do all the functions and activities continuously till the sale gets off. The fourth characteristic is coordination is an all-pervasive function. You have learned that pervasive means omnipresent, which is present everywhere. All the departments and all the three levels of management like job, middle and lower level are interconnected to each other. For this connection, coordination is required. So coordination is a pervasive function. For example, company may raw material purchase kar lenge liye, purchase manager, production manager, finance manager, marketing manager ke beech mein coordinated discussion hona chahiye. Tabhi ve sab mil kar e decide kar paayenge ki kis quality ka kitna raw material purchase karna chahiye. Is mein company ke budget or selling capacity ki bhi ahem bhoomi ka hai. So we have seen that coordination is an pervasive function. The fifth characteristic is coordination is the responsibility of all the managers. Top level managers face the plans and policies for the entire organization. Middle level managers interpret these policies and coordinate with top level and the lower level managers. Lower level managers actually get the work done and coordinate with workers and the top level managers. So, it is the responsibility of every manager to coordinate with each other. The sixth characteristic is coordination is a delegate function. Even if there is good cooperation within a department, the concerned manager needs to coordinate with other managers intentionally or you can say deliberately. Now we try to understand these two terms cooperation and coordination with a simple example. Suppose in your school, mein 12th standard mill kar teachers se plan kar raha hai. So you activities ko different groups mein divide karenge. Jaysay ek group dekhega anchoring, dusra speech, tisra dance, chautha games aur paanchwa group refreshment dekhega. Ab maan nijiye ki ek group ke andar to bohat achha cooperation hai. Yani ki puri group members ek dusre ko help karte hai. यहाँ पर काम करते करते इनफॉर्मल रिलेशंस भी क्रिएट होते हैं यानी फ्रेंडशिप क्रिएट होती है अब एक ग्रुप को दूसरे ग्रुप के साथ कोऑर्डिनेशन करना पड़ता है इसमें फॉर्मल या इनफॉर्मल रिलेशंस हो सकते हैं अब आपको कोऑर्डिनेशन तो करना ही पड़ेगा दैट इज इंटेंशनली और डेलीबरेट फंक्शन क्योंकि इवेंट एक एक्टिविटी से सक्सेसफुल नहीं होता इवेंट तो सभी एक्टिविटीज के अच्छे से होने पर ही सक्सेसफुल होता है नाउ हाउ दिस टू टर्म्स कोऑपरेशन एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर कोऑपरेशन विदाउट कोऑर्डिनेशन मे लीड टू वेस्टेड एफर्ट्स फॉर एग्जांपल आपकी टीम में तो अच्छा कोऑपरेशन है लेकिन दूसरी टीम्स के साथ आपका कोऑर्डिनेशन नहीं है इसलिए इवेंट सक्सेसफुल नहीं हुआ द सेकेंड इज कोऑर्डिनेशन विदाउट कोऑपरेशन मे लीड टू डिसफेक्शन अमंग एम्प्लॉज मतलब टीम मेंबर्स के बीच में तो अच्छा कोऑर्डिनेशन है 
लेकिन ग्रुप मेंबर्स एक दूसरे को कॉपरेट यानी हेल्प नहीं करते तो स्टूडेंट्स के बीच में डिससेटिस्फैक्शन क्रिएट होगा कोऑर्डिनेशन इज नॉट द सिक्स्थ फंक्शन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इट इज द एसेंस ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू